Good morning out there, every, everyone. I am Corinne Braxton, and, and today is October 20, no, October 5th. And we have some fun projects coming up today. And let's see if we can get this connected on our computer. So let me just check. And you girls start commenting when you hear us. Here's find us. Oh, there's Melissa. Good for you, Melissa. Thank you. I always, that always helps to know that I'm on the right place and it helps others find us too. So just keep thumbs up, commenting, please, if you would. How are you today, Melissa? You just had a birthday. I've been late in getting all my birthday cards out and you're one of the people on my list. So hope you had a good day. And uh, we have a lot of fun things planned today. And I'm gonna pull my table closer to me over here. I've got a side table set up. My main space is right here. Here, and then I've got a table here, and I've got a chair here with my things. And um, <clears throat> let's see what I have going on. We had a nice weekend. I had a stamping bingo at my house. That was a lot of fun. And uh, it was World Card Making Day. So I hope some of you, oh, hey, Kathy Wilkerson, glad you're watching too, I bet. And, Oh, thank you, Melissa. I keep they keep doing that. I appreciate that so much. Um, it's World Card Making Day, so I hope you all made some cards this weekend, and hope you send them out too. So um, I'm really good about making cards, but then I let the birthdays stack up. I had I had 15 that were late a few weeks ago, and I sent them all at the same time. And now I have to get into October, so I have a lot of family members in Wisconsin, lots of nieces and nephews, and. Um, and their children. So anyway, um, oh, I think, I think that the clearance rack is going to refresh tomorrow. It's said today, but I don't see anything there. So I bet it's tomorrow. And um, oh, I have to tell you the sad news though. Um, the trip that I earned to the Western Caribbean, Stamping Up has decided because of the pandemic situation around the world, they're going to cancel, they've canceled it for next May, and they're going to give us a cash buyout instead. So that's rather sad. My sisters and I were really disappointed about that, but I totally get it. Last year when we went to Hawaii, you know, a good portion of the people around the world couldn't go. So anyway, that was sad. some sad news today that I read on our Stamping Up um, demonstrator site. Okay, let us, um, let's see if there's anyone else on coming, checking on in with us this morning. And um, let's see, I will point, we have two fun folds. Well, they're not really, I mean, they're unusual cards because they have unusual cuts and they're sort of considered a fun fold. They're really neat. I really like doing them. I did one for a swap. Um, a couple of months ago and really enjoyed it a lot. So, so a style that maybe you haven't tried before. Okay, I'm gonna put the camera down. So, oh, hey, Carla, how good to see you there from Wisconsin. Okay, girls, here we go. Let's zoom in a little bit. These are my, these are my cards just for uh, lining up. I have a class this week and it's from the Sweet, sweet stock, sweet little stockings. And these are two of the, this is a, one of the cards. You can either choose a cat or a dog. Anyway, these are my cards to uh, line up things for you. Anyway, so that, I still have openings for that kit class. It's $30, includes a half package of DSP and a spool of ribbon, I think. Um, Anyway, and it can be a kit class to ship or it can be an in-person. Okay, let's get our card out for today. We will be using this sweet little stocking set on our first card, sweet little stockings. And it is a neat set and the paper is called sweet stockings. And it is it has a print on one side and sort of a generic on the other. And these little dogs and cats can be cut out. These can be fussy cut. These stockings can be die, die cut with the die. And uh, my friend Mary Jean cut out a few of these for me, but not all. I used all of the dogs, and so I had to fussy cut some more, but they're not a problem. And anyway, it's a great set. It's a great bundle. If you are interested in this class, 
I ha if you if you buy this bundle, then the class the bundle is fifty dollars, and if then the class is free, the kit class is free. So that is sort of a neat deal, I think. Anyway, here are a couple of the cards that I've made. This is the one we're going to do today. Do you see how it's sort of airy in there? It's sort of cut apart. And, um, oh, hey, Martina, glad to see you this morning. And here's another one. I had some leftover pieces, and you just sort of create them. I saw, um, this is this is a cat with attitude. Look at that. Santa Claus is coming down. This cat is not a happy camper most of the time. But anyway, and then we've got some of those genial gems on there. So this is the one. We're going to do the Santa hat, too. That's in there. And so let's pull out our little supplies, and we will begin. So I'm going to, let's see, once there we go. I'm glad you could join us. Oh, it's misty this morning, huh, Martina? So I'm sorry that you're back in Oregon, but I know that you'll be back in Montana again sometime too. Okay, we've got a lot of pieces here. You'll want to you'll make sure you, you take a, a screenshot. So... The base is, it's just like, um, well, there are a couple ways to do it. I have, a, so basically it's a, it's a top folding card like this and you, and you cut off part of it. But if you like to save paper, then you do it this way. And so the direct, the cities are the directions. You take a, a sheet of, of thick white cardstock and it's four and a quarter quarter by seven inches and then I scored at one and a half right here so that's going to be the top flap I'm going to put that down and then we're going to add a piece right here the red DSP this is um, one and a fourth by four inches that's the other side so that's going to go there and then at the bottom there's a cutoff piece and that's this one I guess I just wrote on this one and it's four and everything is four and a quarter by two and a quarter. So that you can see that would would have been cut off. And then this piece is going to go on top. So those are the measurements for that. And then we have a piece of olive green and a piece of white. And uh, the white goes on top of the green like this. Okay. And so let's do that. And then we'll do our stamping and our other things. Um... My nose was dripping there. Uh, let's get in our little silicone mat and we'll put these pieces together, uh, the top one. And um, just if you would please just thumbs up, comment, that helps others. I know Cindy Garfey was trying to find us this morning and she could not. So um, just please comment to each other if you would. And um, I'm just going to cover that up like that. I like this. Um, this is cherry cobbler. So now I'm not going to glue this here, but I'm going to just let it sit there. And then this part is going to be attached to it. So we'll take out these two pieces. That's the white and the olive. And I think I made 26 of these. Not this exact one, but very not with the Santa hat, but close. Okay, so now we, we're ready to attach it. It's quite easy. And I'm just going to attach it like this, and then the, it'll hold together. But I am going to use some very, I'm going to use, you could use your tear tape, or I'm going to use my Seal Plus. So I just lift up on it, put a couple of rows of that on like that. I really do like this adhesive. And now, <clears throat> let's see, I like to get this all lined up nicely so that you want it to be nice and straight. And there we have it. There we go. And there it lines up and there's our card. Isn't that easy? It's, it's an easy card, easy fun fold. I am going to take my eraser here. It looks like I've got something there. I'm going to try my uh, 
my gummy eraser first. Oh, it is. It's adhesive. Some adhesive on these little. Uh, I don't know. They're they're like rubber, and like for. I don't know. You can get them any place. I got them all. I get them online. This kind of an eraser. The mono one has. This is for um, sand and ink, and that's a good one that I use too. Um, <clears throat> okay, so let's bring in our stamps and our little. Let me see once here uh, where my pieces are, my, my dog, and let's dump these out. I got a lot of hats that I stamped. We'll just put the, I, I cut out a bunch of, die, of hats and we'll stamp those here. And um, my dog, I'm gonna put the dog right on, on the front like this, but we have to do some stamping first. So we're going to stamp I probably should have done all this. You know, if you're doing it, I don't know. I'm sort of doing this in the reverse, but I don't know. I, I guess when I'm online, it just seems to make more sense. So I'm using Cherry Cobbler ink and, and then I'm going to do the Santa Paws is coming to town. I just love that. I just think these are so cute for pet lovers. Maybe you, you don't have a cat or a dog, but um, maybe someone, maybe your son or your daughter, or, you, or maybe you do have an animal. So you can use anything you want. I just think there's so many people out there that are animal lovers. This is a great set for them, uh, great cards. So that's cute. And now the inside of the card, we're going to do sending lots of love. And I'm going to see if I can keep it on here. It's a long stamp. There we go. And there we are. And now we have one more thing to stamp. And it looks like it's in black. It's the little Santa hat because I'm going to color that. So I'm going to set that aside and bring in a Santa hat. I did, oh, that one's already done. So I'll do another one to show you how I do this. I like to die cut. I like to die cut two sheets of basic white at the same time. And then, you know, it just goes twice as fat, fast. And I don't want to, I'm just going to line this up now. It's photopolymer. Oh, that's pretty decent. So um, we'll close that up and now we can color that. So I'll move this aside and we can get out our blends. I've used uh, some uh, cherry cobbler. And this is a light and dark cherry cobbler. It's very, very dark because we also have the real red. And the real red is um, just a little nicer, maybe, for most things. It's not, it's not as dark as this. So, but we'll do this one because the rest of our color is cherry cobbler. But it's very, very dark. I am going to, um, I'll zoom in a little bit here. Put that down. I'm just going to uh, sort of use my fine tip edge and go around. I don't want it to bleed either because it could bleed. It's so, it's so, uh, so dark. And I'm going to leave, you know, I, what would be really cute would be um, Wink Estella on the white or that puffy, puffy, puffy snow. If we, we don't have that, I don't think anymore. We, we used to have it and you might have it in your supplies. I'm going to just take my, this is the light cherry cobbler. I'm just going to do little circles and sort of blend it. It's going to be a little, I want it to be a little lighter in the middle than I do on the edge. And it's just that easy. And it's done. And I'm going to put a little bit of Wink Estella I don't want to touch the red because it would bleed like crazy. There we go. There's a little bit. And then we'll put some uh, dimensionals on the back of that. I think one will be good. There we go. And we'll get our hat, our dog, everything ready right here. And I zoom back. Oops. There we go. And now we're going to put our dog on like this, and I'm going to just, <clears throat> one thing I like about these silicone mats, too, I'm going to, that's got adhesive on it, so I am going to um, just put it right on my silicone mat there. I'm going to put some uh, dimensionals on here, and I'm not sure about his tail, 
So let's see, we may have to cut that off. I'm gonna just pure take this. I keep, when you do this, if you do it this way like I do, you keep your finger way down here and you just lift, you dig it in, lift up and you put it. I have a little, um, like a thing that hangs off the side. The sewing basket is like a sewing thing or a remote control hanger that you would put on a chair. And this is, so we're going to put this like that. And his tail is, so his tail ends right there. And these lights are coming off. I think I'm going to just trim those off like this. Because I don't think they look so great. The light's hanging off. It's a cute. And it, most of these are not hard to fussy cut. This one is a little bit more tedious because of the lights, but not, not bad at all. And then I'm just going to put this hat on like this over to the side, and our card is done. Isn't that cool? Very, very fast. And uh, let's see once here. I'll bring in the other one that we did. It was just like it, identical. And then these two, these little, these little animals and stockings I just had left over and I just sort of made that up. I love this cat. I think the cat one's really fun. So anyway, that's that is one of our cards for this in this week's class. And now we are going to let me just get this cleaned up and we're going to do another Halloween one. This one's a little bit more involved. And I don't know, some people like Halloween, others don't, but um, I love it with the grandkids and I make little treats. I love our tombstone boxes that we have there. They're the coolest thing ever. And I tell you what, I just, I love this stamp set. Oh, I forgot the gems on the other one, but I'll put those on later. So we'll just go on with this one. Um, this is a frightfully cute and it's got a great fence, a great spider web, a great um, label, this cool label, which is hat, stars, owl, circle. I really like it. It was on back order and just came in. So um, I'm, I was happy because we still have most of the month of October. And uh, this is a fun paper, this cute Halloween paper with the little ghost. And you know, we have that punch that is, um, I think it's in back in order. It's coming this week. These It punches out all these little creatures. But look at the, the solids and the prints and the candy and these little bats that hang upside down. And um, I think it's really cool. I love this, this little skull. I like the little purple, the heather. And that's what we're going to use today. Let's see what else I have here. Yep, it's a great set called Cute Halloween. And let's bring in our <clears throat> little supplies. So we're going to be using a black ink and Highland Heather ink today. And I think this is a fun set. So this is the ca one card that I made. And, oops, sorry. Sorry, I'm out of screen. Oh, thank you, Carla. Appreciate that. Um, let me see. What did it say here? Carla said something about, uh, I saw that people are... It's starting tomorrow, the, um, the, yes, the clearance is starting tomorrow for everyone. So, yeah, I thought it was going to be today. They, you know, because I think they announced it a little day too. Maybe they just told us. But anyway, it starts tomorrow. So, anyway, this is the card. And um, so it's going to open up like this. And it says, which way to the candy and some little potions at the bottom. But isn't that cute? And that's all with that paper. So we'll just um, come right here and we'll... <clears throat> I think we'll maybe do our stamping first this time. Let's see. I'm going to try really hard not to forget the embellishments at the end. Um, and we can maybe start with the, the potions on the bottom like this. And uh, got my Highland Heather. I like this ink a lot. Um, and we're going to Put some of that on the bottom of our envelope like this. Let me see if you're in the, I'm in the screen. I am, okay. You'll do one more row. There, isn't that cute? Our envelope is done and let's come in here now. We have, again, we're going to just get my pieces together here. 
Um, here we have a four inches by five and a fourth. And I'm gonna stamp these little bottles along the bottom. Just gonna keep repeating them like that. Just gonna go off right there. Isn't that, that's perfect, I think. And then we're gonna do a little, we're gonna keep this up high because of the, uh, what was I gonna put there? Oh, not happy, which way to the candy? So we're gonna do that. Which way to the candy? And I'm gonna pull this a little closer to me so I can get it up there. There we go. And that's the inside of our card. And let's see, we've got one more thing to stamp and that's the little tiny label. And that's going to be in black, Memento. So we'll set that right there and we'll get our little label out. Just a second here. Happy Halloween. And these are red rubber, so they're cling stamps. They don't need a, a mat underneath them, which is always, I love red rubber stamps. Uh, you know, this has the, you see the foam right there? That ha that's why we don't need the piercing mat. But on a photopolymer, let me see, um, like here on that Santa hat, there's no rubber. So that's why we need either a mouse pad or a pierce mat, something or a stack of magazines, something underneath that to give it a cushion. It needs a cushion. So let me just, uh, I'm going to bring this down a little closer to me for a minute. Maybe you're out of, I'm out of the camera, but I can barely, it's hard for me to, you know, you don't want to see my hair and uh, my head. So. Anyway, it's not perfect, but it's okay for being, um, anyway, we'll put that right there. So now we'll bring in our pieces, and I want you to do help me with a little voting here. So I'm going to put that right there. And this is going to be a black card. It's a little hard to see. Um, uh, let's see. So the main piece is four inches, four and a quarter by seven. I scored it at one and a half, like this. You know what, I will probably write these directions out for you just real briefly too. Um, and then the bottom is like this. It is two and a fourth. You know, some people like to just cut out that part and then use that right there. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I don't like stamping on the thick white, so I don't like to do that method. I like to do this one better. Anyway, so this is that. Now, now you tell me, do you like, should we do a black? So the black would go right here and the top would go like this. That's one way. Do you like the black stripe or do you want me to do the purple? That would be like this. I cut two to let you, so you could tell me, what do you think? Which do you like better? And in the meantime, while you're telling me, uh, let's see what's, Oh, Cindy, I'm glad you found us. Um, you know what? There was a cauldron die a few years back. I don't know. I don't have, I don't keep my, they retire Halloween pretty fast. Um, purple. Martina says purple. What else do you girls say? What, what are some other people thinking? In the meantime, I'm going to, you know, while you're telling me if it's purple or stripes, I'm going to glue this together, adhere this together. This is the Highland Heather three by four and a quarter and two and three fourths by four. And uh, so I'm gonna just take that off and this off. And I hope it helps you to see those and to do a screenshot with those directions. I saw that method from Kay Keltoff many years ago. She lives in Minnesota. I don't know if she still does it or not. I used to, way back when I started being a demonstrator, she always did this, and um, I always liked it. And I, I think it's very helpful. And I like taking screenshots myself. So this is going to be our centerpiece. Now, what were you saying? Purple, purple, purple. Cindy said purple. Martina said purple. Okay, we're going to do purple. Just that sounds perfect. So let's bring in our little silicone mat again, if I can reach over here and find it. And we'll try, we'll put the black ones aside. And those are the same measurements, four and a quarter, I mean, four inches by one and a fourth and four by two. So we'll just say that I, I, I'll do another card, well, not, to, not right here, but um, when I finish today, I'll just make up another card. 
And okay, now I'm going to I'm going to put this against the white just so you can see this. It's very hard to work on black, whether you're sewing or craft paper crafting. Um, okay, we'll do a little bit of adhesive on that, and here we go. Oh, I like this. I like this Highland Heather, don't you? Isn't that pretty? Um, and we'll put our, our piece in. This is our inside. That was four by uh, four by five and a quarter. Oops. Excuse me. There we go. Is I love that inside. And do you see how I kept it up high? And I kept it low because there's going to, we're going to put it like this now. I'm going to take off my reading glasses here because we're not coloring. I have contacts and I have bifocals in my contacts. So I do have a bifocal, but um, I use an extra pair of glasses if I'm doing coloring with my blends. Okay, here's where we're going to put these, this on. Now, this would have been pretty, I think, in, in black since we chose the purple, but it's not cut. So we'll just go with what I have. Um, I want to, I almost made a mistake there. I'm going to do just like two rows along the top. You know, on this, on this plus one, you have to lift straight. Well, actually some people, um, sort of go backwards like that. And that is a, actually, uh, Mary Jean Anderson, one of our team members, Oh, she says she loves this adhesive, never has any problems. She always sort of goes back on itself like that. Um, okay, here we go. We're going to get that nice and straight. That's the hardest part of the whole card is keeping these together while you're putting like this. You want to make sure they're nice and straight because it's not real forgiving um, adhesive. It's so strong. Whoop, 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 whoop. It's jumping ahead of me there. Um, there we go. There. Burnish it a little bit with your fingers, and there is our card. Isn't that cool? And now we're going to do the other part. I wanted to use a spider web, and uh, I, I really wanted to use black glitter paper, but I couldn't find mine, and it's on back order. Um... And I think, I thought I put, uh, oh yeah, I did. I put adhesive. Oh, I, 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 most of the time I always forget to put adhesive on the back. But I did remember, and it's, that's what's poking out here. Do you see that? Um, you know, we have those adhesive sheets that just peel off. Isn't that slick? Oh, goodness. I wish I would remember it more often, but I don't. Um, this time I did, though. I was really proud of myself. And I forgot the ribbon. Well, we'll just do a bow instead, I think. So we're going to put, I love this. Doesn't, it's not a pretty shape. I did some in white too. I tried it in white first and um, I thought the purple was, uh, Heather was much better. There's a little bit, here's a, here is the fence. Isn't that a neat fence? And the witch's hat. So let's see what we stamped here. Happy Halloween to you. And um, I think what I'll do is I'm going to put some dimensionals on this. I'm going to just use one of these big ones because I don't want to have it. I'm just going to put um, the dimensionals so that it's on part of it. So I want this other part to hang off the side like that. And now I, th I think maybe we'll add a, a fence to this. I don't know. Um, Let's see once. Let's see what it would look like if we did that fence. I think it's okay. What do you think? Do you like the fence? Too much, maybe. Maybe too much. So could put the fence. I don't know. Maybe we'll just skip the fence. It is neat though. Um, and then I'm going to put this on. What I'm going to do on this is I'm going to put my. I'm going to put adhesive on part of it, like just there. And on this half, I'm going to put. Um, dimensionals. So I'm actually just going to cut one of these like this. 
because this part's going to be popped up. So that's why we're doing half and half. I, I actually do that quite often where I do half dimensional and half adhesive. Um, okay, do you see how it's gonna be right here? It, it's gonna go, it's going to be like this and then it's going to be popped up. Right there. Let's see. And we just like that. And then we're going to do our little witch's hat. And that's a tiny, tiny one. I think what I'm going to do is cut my dimensional in half. Um, because I have some mini ones here, but I don't know. I never know where they are. I'm just gonna I like to cut them actually. Um, there's something, I don't know, there's something therapeutic about cutting dimensionals for me, I guess. I don't know. So we'll just put it right there. Maybe a whole one would have worked. There we pull, pull that off, and hat's going like that. I wasn't sure if our Facebook was going to work today after yesterday. I know everyone was, nothing worked, everything, the whole outage thing was, it was so odd all day with Facebook and Instagram. Um, anyway, um, I'm thankful it did work. And so we're going to put some, um, some little gems on. These are the cute stars adhesive bat. And we use purple on the other. I think we're going to use black on these. And so we're going to just slide them off. I love this. I love my, I'm sorry, I, I, I zoomed in too much. I'll zoom back out a little bit. There you go. And I'll zoom. Um, I just like to slide these off. And I'm just going to just put it up. Oh, that one has a little bit of adhesive peeking out. Maybe I'll take that one off. Save it for another day. Um. So there's, we're going to put one there. We've got large ones and small ones. Let's put another one right there. And the last one, the third one, you know, you always want to work in threes or fives because in art, that's always, uh, your eye is, it's more pleasing to have odd numbers in nature when gardening or flower arranging or decorating. It's threes are better. So, because um, it knows where your, your eye sort of travels. If you had four, you wouldn't, your eye wouldn't know where to go. So that looks very pretty. I think we need a, uh, we need some of that pretty ribbon. So let's see what, since I didn't, on this one, I uh, tied it completely around this, but I, that's glued on. So, which do you, I'm going to just do a bow right here. I'm, um, so I'm going to do a, a bow out of this wonderful black, uh, it's called a uh, black and white gingham ribbon. And I believe it is back and stay. It was out. I mean, it's been out and out for a long time, but I think it's back in. I'm not positive. So a lot of things have come in this week. They have been, um, just getting it small enough that I'm going to like it. Oh, there we go. I think that's going to be just great and we'll get our scissors and snip it off so we are having a beautiful day and I actually had to sh close the blinds this now this morning because it was so sunny it's very beautiful here and and uh, let's see once where should we put that maybe we'll just get that right there and we'll get some my glue dots have fallen to the side here and uh which color do you like better, the one that's the black stripe or the Highland Heather, the purple? I'm going to put two of the glue dots on. We're going to put it right there. Happy Halloween to you. And we have both cards done in very little time. Aren't they fun? They're easy. They're fun and pretty quick, actually. There's my light in your way the whole time. Um, we've got this little fence left over. And here was our envelope. So which is your favorite? Purple, purple, purple. I like the purple too. I think that's my favorite. So here's our envelope to go with it. You can see the lights now that it's coming in a little bit more. Um, fun cards. So today we made these. I hope you'll give this a try. I will post those and... Uh, and then you can also give the, these easy, fun cuts a try. It's sort of a fun fold. It's more of a fun, unique cut. So there it is. And so how did you like those today? Have you, have you ever tried that 
method before. We'll turn our camera up now and uh, we will... Um... There we go. And that was very, very fast. Oh, you like the black contrast. Yeah, I do too, Carla. So, um, super. Well, that was about the fastest Facebook Live I've done so far. Um, because those are so easy. So anyway, um, I hope that you will stay tuned and next week again. And don't forget clearance rack tomorrow. I would, you know, go ahead and take a look at the clearance rack today even. See what it looks like. And then <clears throat> there's still about, oh, there are probably about 10 things on there today. I looked, but they haven't updated it. So tomorrow will be a big day. Items go very fast. Very, they, It starts at after midnight. So um, items go fast. They're so cheap and uh, so inexpensive that you can't miss out on some of the products. So anyway, that's it. And um, I'll see you next week. Thanks so much. Bye.